Hi drummers, hope you're well. Quick video for you here about creating drum fills in 3-4. Now hopefully you've seen the other videos in this series about creating your own drum fills. If not, I'll link to the playlist full of those below. Really, all the same things apply. Uh, so far we've only played in 4-4, except of course the big thing here is we're one beat short in the bar. This is three beats in the bar. The top number three in the time signature tells you there are three beats per bar. The bottom number four tells you each beat is a quarter note or a crotchet. Now this would be especially relevant to guys doing their grade two. If you're doing Trinity Rock and Pop, as part of the improvising there, three, four is the new time signature. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a couple of fills, I'll create a couple of fills here and show you how I might go about it uh, for creating fills at that kind of level. And I'll probably do a couple after that go a bit beyond that as well. Now at grade th uh, two, it's all about quarter notes, eighth notes, 16th notes, and then the two combination figures of one E and, so two sixteenths, one eighth, and one and a. One eighth, two sixteenths. They're the figures that you see in the pieces. Uh, so you've got tea, coffee, cappuccino, black current, and motorbike, right? Now what we did in 4-4 four four was, when we played a drum fill, we, on the very basic uh, starter version, we played beat one, beat two, beat three, beat four around the kit. For example. Now we need to lose a beat from there, don't we? So what I'm gonna suggest is, in this basic version, uh, let's leave out the mid tom, and this is just to get started. What we can do is one and two and three and. Say that we played eighth notes coffee. So that's going to be the basic idea. Let's make a couple up. So the groove here. Uh, this video isn't really about grooves in three four. Do another one of those uh, very soon. But let's just play a basic three four groove. We're going to go eighth notes on the hi hat. One and two and three and. And the kick and the snare will go. Let's do three bars groove, one bar fill. Now in the first drum fill, just like we did in the previous videos, this is a grade two type of fill, I'm gonna pick, kind of at random, uh, different note values on, on each beat. Let's go beat one, uh, a T, a quarter note. Beat two, I don't know, some eighth notes, coffee. And beat three, uh, sixteenth notes, or oh, semi quavers, cappuccino. Simple as that, here we go. Solid, not necessarily the most inspiring drum fill in the world, but pretty cool. The fun then really starts, as we've said several times already on these videos, the fun really starts then when you start changing that up. Now you've got your rhythm solid, ba, 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 one, two, and three, e and a, tea, coffee, cappuccino. Well, the next thing you can change is how you orchestrate it around the kit, so you can have some fun with that. Next step, just roll it around, get your metronome on if you can. Use your metronome which has something that really clearly states beat one, ideally like a high pitched uh, click or even a metronome that counts the numbers. I'd also super, super recommend uh, this book which is the Trinity uh, Rock and Pop Session Skills for Drums Initial to Grade Two book. Uh, you cannot go wrong with that because there's some really nice, uh, on the CD there, some really nice three, four uh, little tracks to play along to. So play it round and round and round and just experiment. But but ba 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 is my one. You can come up with whichever one you like. That's the idea. Other things you could change up that are really cool. Well, you can sh do things like unisons, two sticks at the same time. At least some of the drum feel that can be great. Dynamics, like so few drummers do this, and it's such a cool effect if you do. And we go from quiet to loud, or even loud to quiet. Make some kind of change. I'd say in particular, quiet to loud is a great way to do it. Really have a great impact. Let's try a different one. Uh, let's try, um, I don't know, on beat one, let's do 16th notes, cappuccino. Let's do a black current on beat two, eighth note, two sixteenths. So, so far we've got. And let's do a three E and, so two sixteenths, one eighth, motorbike. So cappuccino, black current, motorbike. One, two,
As ever, once you've got the feel, experiment with how you play it around the kit. Dynamics in there. Right. Have as much fun with it as you like. Um, there are a couple that would be about the grade two kind of level, using that vocabulary. The other thing you can do at grade two is to, well, your drum fill doesn't have to be one bar long, does it? It often works well if it is, but it doesn't have to be. So what you can do is uh, maybe start on beat two, or beat three. This is a nice way to play around with this. So how about we start it on beat two. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Here where the drum fill is, we do one and, as if we were going to start groove, and now we've got beats two and beats three to play with. Let's do it for example here. One, and then maybe eighth notes, two and, and how about a three and a. So coffee, black current. Just on beat three, this can be really effective. So one, two, and then on the three, we're going to play again. It could be anything. Let's do a um, cappuccino, right? Sixteenth notes. Cool things you can change up are the sticking. So if you're playing a stream of notes, sixteenths or eighths, you can always change to double strokes, maybe paradiddles to make it interesting. Say that you're playing some sixteenths. How about? For example, how about some flams? If you're playing, I don't know, one and two and three and. About. Flam kick, flam kick, flam kick, especially if it's rock. So really to getting a basic rhythm in your head and then just thinking about some cool ways of orchestrating that on the kit. That's a great way to do it, I think. So changing the dynamics, changing the sticking, changing the way you play it around the kit, uh, throwing in some rudiments. Really great thing to show off, man. Like examiner sees that you've been, uh, and hears that you've been doing your rudiments. Lovely, that's obviously gonna go down a storm. Great, let's do a couple that go beyond the grade two now, just for fun. So um, other note values that we've talked about in the previous videos are things like uh, sextuplets, you know, uh, six notes per beat, and old uh, orange mocha frappuccino, the old um, eight notes per beat, six, uh, 30 second notes, demi semi quavers. Just for fun, let's do one of those. So we're gonna go, I don't know, uh, one and coffee, uh, cappuccino. So eighth notes, sixteenth notes, and let's do a sextuplet or a sixteenth note triplet down on the floor time. with some um, th from 30 second notes just for fun how about going one e and a two and a <laughs> cappuccino black current and then eight notes on beat three orange mocha frappuccino
And like we said before, sometimes that can be way too much. It all depends on the on the uh, on the style of music that you're playing and the song and whether it, it warrants that number of notes. We're not getting paid by the note, man. So you've got to be tasteful. But that's the idea. The the big point I'm making uh, overall here is that all the same things apply. We're just playing three beats in the bar. I should add as well, like I've said before I think in these videos, this isn't by any stretch the only way to come up with drum fills. It's just one good way of really stimulating your brain to come up with some cool stuff. When we do that thing of just sort of playing and then going, oh, I'll just try a drum fill, that can be really good and often we can be inspired and come up with some really cool things. And especially as we've played more and our experience has grown, I find that's quite a good way to do it uh, a lot of the time. But what tends to happen, especially with guys and girls sort of near the start of their drumming career is they tend to, and this is actually still true of me a lot, they tend to kind of default to the same, I would say five or 10 sort of phrases that get used a lot. And whilst it's cool for a musician to have their own sort of signature phrases, it can be a bit much as well. It can be a bit like, or not, not, not enough basically. It can be kind of quite repetitive and the same sort of ideas coming around. So this way of thinking, taking the number of beats in the bar, picking a little uh, phrase, a little rhythm phrase on each beat, and then just playing around with it. Pick your rhythm and then orchestrate it around the kit. Use some rudiments, use some dynamics. There's an endless supply uh, of stuff there. Hope that all makes a bit of sense. Any questions, give us a shout. See you soon.